Hello there, Internet. My name is Silver, and welcome to my first ever opening a Nerf Blaster thing. This is the X Shot Hawk Eye Question Mark. I've already forgotten the name of this thing. Not gonna lie. I was gonna take apart the Cyclone Shock, but here we are. This is going to be a review of the internals and what it looks like inside. So after you remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 20, a lot of screws, it's got a lot of screws, 20 screws, okay. So you're going to want to take the uh, pump grip off first. Uh, we're going to go on ahead, because I'm going to paint this, you're going to want to head, going to want to go ahead and blah, 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 put the screws in there. So the screws are gone, and we're good. So we have the pump grip off. This is really hard to do with one hand, ladies and gentlemen. Uh huh. So set those aside for painting. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. We got this here. Mm -hmm. So give it a little bit of jiggle. Okay. So here we have the internals. Uh, so this part here is the uh, the stock. This has simulated recoil. So when you pull the trigger. This will lurch back and forth like it's a real gun. Ha ha ha. Gimmicky and fun. I would like to keep that working though. So we're going to go on ahead and just remove that part entirely. Because this is clear plastic, I'm not going to paint it because I know that it's not going to look very good. So here we have just those little things. Just leave those on there. That should be fine. We're going to put that to one side. Okay. As for the front barrel, this doesn't want to come off with one hand. That's fine. This is fine. Uh, oh, yes, because this thing is brake action. Click, 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 click. So, yeah, that's probably got another screw in it somewhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we've got the trigger, we've got the plunger head, we got the, the catch spring. So you're just going to want to go ahead and just take that out. The whole plunger assembly comes out perfectly fine. I could maybe even put a bigger spring in there, to be honest. Looks like it's got a um, an air restrictor as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you're unfamiliar, those little pegs inside there, that is the air restrictor. So that limits the flow of air that can flow into the barrel and shoot the dart out, thus reducing the power of the blaster. However... I have drilled out air restrictors before, and it has not gone well for me. So I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do that. Not not gonna bother with that. Maybe I'll upgrade the spring. We'll see. We'll see. So that all slides out nice and dandy. And you're gonna take out the trigger, and you're gonna. Uh, I'm probably gonna paint the trigger because I hate. I hate this orange. Yeah, freaking Nerf blasters and X shot and stuff like this orange. This kid friendly. Uh, I, I don't know why, why just why it's such I think it's a gross color whatever whatever okay we're gonna go on ahead and get that out yep I'll put that over there too and whatever the hell this thing is yeah we can put that over there and this thing that's got a spring in it so you want to make sure you don't lose that spring and now I'm going to need to use my hands to get this other barrel hold on a second there it is, cheeky little bastard. So there's another screw down there underneath the pump grip that was stopping me from opening it. Uh -huh, just a light amount of force to peel this apart. Shwa -shwa. Because this is just a fake barrel, there's nothing in there. There is the little mechanism in this part here that makes that satisfying click noise when you move it around. And there's also this, which I assume yeah, that's that's just kind of whatever. Uh, we're gonna go on ahead and chuck out the screws. Oh no! Uh, come here, you little. Yes, get in there. You, you too. I see you there. You think you can hide from me? I think not. Okay, I'm gonna paint that. As I said, I hate the orange, and don't need to paint that because that's an internal part. And, uh, yeah. Oh, so that's where the satisfying click comes from. There must be a gear of some sort that runs along here. Come on, camera focus. Thank you. So there you go. Alrighty then. Now that we have neutered everything, uh, there's screws in this part. Uh, careful. There's screws everywhere. God. Make sure you hang on to all your screws and all your springs, the important functional parts that you will need 
And there's a screw in there and a cheeky blast if I'll get you later. So yeah guys, that's what the internals of the X-Shot Hawkeye looks like. I'm gonna paint this son of a gun now. And we'll come back later when I'm putting it back together, I guess. Oh, la mow. Alrighty then, everybody. Here we are several days later. I am done with painting. I went for a black, rose gold, and royal dark blue sort of color. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, hand painted those. Uh, you know, you know, uh, did not I'm not trying to flex on you all, but uh, yeah. So, quick painting tips before we go anywhere, I guess. Uh, I learned all this the hard way, everybody, so listen closely. When you first take apart your blaster, you want to sand it a little bit. So get some medium, very thin grit sandpaper. I have some here. It looks like this. Very thin. You can also use steel wool. And you just want to lightly just scratch down your blaster just a little bit. That will make sure the paint adheres to the surface a bit better. And then next, you're going to want to use primer. So, primer, you know, primes the surface for paint and stuff. And uh, what I have found as well is this stuff right here, Rust-Oleum. This is probably the best thing you can buy because this is paint and primer all in one. So you don't need to put on primer, you just, you just use this and it's fantastic. Works really well. Uh, also, do not mix paints. So if you use Rust-Oleum, it is a good idea to use other Rust-Oleum. Uh, I used this, which is of course a different brand of paint, but that seems to be fine. This is just a hand sort of oil paint. But yeah, like, if you mix different brands of paint, you might have a bad time. So probably stick with the same brand. But, uh, yeah. And then also to get these totally neat and perfect lines. Oh yeah, these are great. Use tape. So just tape it down and you'll get like a decent line like if you want to be more I, I don't know how to get perfect lines to be honest i don't know how to get absolutely perfect lines but it's good enough it's good enough so yeah very very quick tips on painting there everybody i need to put this bad boy back together now so i'm pretty sure the fake barrel had nothing else in there so you just want to slap this white bar in there like so and then I guess we're just going to pop that on there. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. And then, uh, I kind of, I'm kind of thinking about putting more blue on this, to be honest. But when I put it all back together, I can just put that blue on, I think. I think that'll be fine. So you've got your shell here. And then you're going to want to get your parts bin. And then you're going to want to get your stock, I guess. We'll, we'll go that first. We'll just kind of... Let's kind of drop that in there. Uh, okay, here we go. Ba -da -ba. So that should just sort of sit there, question mark? Um, this is awkward. I'm going to be completely honest, guys. I haven't looked up any sort of tutorial online of how to put this back together. So, yeah, I thought I would make my own tutorial. My own tutorial of how to put this back together. But clearly I need to do a little bit of research first. So, yeah, let's go do that, everybody. Get a handle on how this thing works. Yikes. Oh boy, this is the stage we're currently at, folks. I've slapped on the barrel. This just slides onto this little post here. And then this goes over the top of that. We can almost start putting screws back in for that piece to go on there. However... This is not important to the function at all, but it triggers me the fake stock here that has the simulated recoil. I was testing this, and as you can see, I lost the spring. It flung out over there, and I don't know where it's gone, and I'm pissed about it. As I said, it's not important to the function of the blaster, I'm pretty sure, but it's fun, and it's cool, because when you pull the trigger... You get that simulated recoil of this going pew 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 pew, and it's pretty sick, but gosh dang it. Ugh. So I've got this thing, and I'm pretty sure this goes about here. So that goes there, and then you hook this little spring onto this little post. I'm pretty sure that's where that goes, and then that acts with that, and the pump grip, and then that pull, prime, primes the trigger, releases the catch i think and then we've got these uh nani nani i think this is the catch mechanism 
and nani maybe this uh, goes goes there oh yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think you're onto something there bob uh nope nope okay this is awkward so yeah we got these three parts and we got this pump handle biggest of yikes everybody okay here we go Alrighty then, everybody, good luck finding another tutorial for reassembling this thing on YouTube, because I couldn't find anything. So, there you go. You're welcome if you're watching this video and you can't figure out how to put it back together. I'm basically a god. Okay, so, we've got this little guy here. That goes there, and the only function that, that serves is that satisfying click noise when you break the barrel. Lum out. Next up... We have this thing here. You want to make sure to attach it to that peg. That's bring. And then we have this. The trigger catch sits back there. Or whatever you want to call that thing. And then this little circular bit goes there underneath the trigger. So when you pull the trigger, that does that. Then you're going to want to take the whole plunger head. Pop. Slot that in there. That sits nice and comfortably in there. Not a lot that needs to be done. Uh, just make sure this is, uh, yeah, yeah. So, if you have hands free, you can probably just slot that in. This is awkward. Okay, there we go. Yep. And make sure the spring isn't interfering with that, I guess. Hmm. So, yeah, more or less, that's how it goes back, everybody. You want to have this part here, the longer part there. Okay. So, I'm going to make that a little bit neater. Hold on a second. Okay, get that spring nice and tucked back there, because you don't want any of that. When you prime the blaster up here, this goes back. That interacts with this part. That interacts with this spring. That pushes back this bar. Primes the blaster with the spring in there. When you pull the trigger, this interacts with that. Releasing the trigger and firing the blaster. Ola mao, I'm a genius. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately for me, I lost the spring for the simulated recoil. I'm sad about it. I really hope that doesn't have any... Oh my god, maybe it does have an important function in the firing of the blaster, guys. Fudge! I can't find a replacement spring and we're triggered. Okay, well, I'm going to try zipping this baby back up and seeing if it works. Biggest of yikes. Okay. That little spring, everybody. Do not lose that little spring. Filming with my unsteady left hand. I apologize. All right, we have a dart in the beach. Cut. Oh my god. Come on. Quack. And then I need to prime it with my other hand. God. Gee, I wonder how that looked. Okay, and firing. Boom. Huzzah. Huzzah! It works, everybody. It ain't, it ain't pretty, but it works. Lamau. The stock is... Uh... Oh my god, that triggers me so much. Okay, I need to make sure the stock is a bit more solidly in. But the important part is, it catches, it primes, and it fires. Oh, Lamau. So... Yeah, guys, that was a painting and a uh, reassembly of the X-Shot Hawkeye. With this information, go on ahead and rip yours apart, paint it, and put it back together like a boss. I think I could, yeah, I'll probably go for a bit more blue up the back here. Maybe neaten up those lines a bit. But, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to fiddle with this a little bit more. Okay, guys, bye! All right, closing thoughts on the X-Shot Hawk Eye. This right here is not a screw hole freaking triggered. It is an empty hole that just leads into the pump grip. If you put a screw in there, it will get lost in there, and you will have to take apart the pump grip to get the screw out. Who the hell designed that? There's another one over here that is just a fake screw hole. Triggered! Honestly, honestly, that is the stupidest thing. Okay, uh, it's pretty cool. I managed to uh, whack the scope on. I gave it a little bit of a sparkly kind of look. And I found a replacement screw for the simulated recoil. Lamau! All you need is a small enough screw that fits in between that little post in the stock. 
And uh, yeah, everybody, that is the X Shot Hawkeye. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial thing and my shitty, shitty paint job. Yeah, I still need to get better with painting, to be honest, but you know, whatever. Alrighty then, everybody, let's go for a little test fire, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Woo!